Hello guys, my name's Asmaram, and yes, as you can tell, my reaction to the 49ers 23, Seahawks 33. Before I start, I've got a blocked nose, so I apologise, and also I want to apologise why I was late. I said on uh, my prediction, um, when I thought we was going to kick off. Um, I'm working in hospitality, and I didn't get out till midnight, one, and um, the game started at nine, they moved it forward so i missed the whole game so i took time out i had a day off now it's night time and i've watched the full reaction of the game and this is yeah this is my reaction for you guys so here we go what the bloody hell was going on with that game seriously what is going on with that team so is this a playoff team from last night? No chance. Not a hoping hell are we going to the playoffs. Or if we do get to the playoffs, we're out first game. Because that's what they played like. What's going on? Seriously. Like, what is going on? It made no sense whatsoever. No excuses at all. I was devastated. To see the game... To see everything play like that as well. How they played. It's just awful. Quarterback. Awful. But was it a massive shot that he was awful? No. Because we know what he can do. And we know what he does. At $127 million. Offense. No running game. Yeah, okay. You could say Kittle. I. Yeah. Pretty good. But it weren't like a full running offense. No, no strategy, no great game plan, no nothing, defense was all right, but it weren't, it was all right, but not that great, half the time they walled through the bleeding defense from the Seahawks offense, it was unreal, it was absolutely unreal, and we've got beaten twice now by the Seahawks, that is not a playoff team whatsoever. And then there's this guy. 127 million for five year contract. Super Bowl once. Playoff what twice? If not that. Yeah, twice. Maybe. Maybe this year, maybe three. Was I shocked? The amount of pick sixes? Was I shocked? Was I shocked that every time he grabs a ball? He's for my angle. He's looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Free, free, open, open, free. Just looking that way. Throws the ball straight, straight to the player. Straight to the player on the opposite team. It makes no sense whatsoever. No sense. I, I, I don't understand. Seriously, I don't understand how this guy did just, he, he, I, he doesn't surprise me one bit. Every time there's a pick six, there you go. There you go. Even if he sacked, there you go. Oh, pick six again, there you go. Oh, there you go. That's all I was saying when I was watching that game. Nothing, nothing changed at all with this guy and we know what he's like he will never change he's the same jimmy g even when carl shanahan said on the beginning of the preseason of the training camps oh he looks he looks better than he does no he don't you're chatting crap everyone knows it you're rubbish chatting rubbish and apparently that he's leaving the 49ers next year they're getting rid of him for a trade deal no you ain't trade deal what trade deal what a trade deal. The man ain't... That's, he's played like that. His trade value is gone. Easily dropped down. If they've got a figure for him now. Right now. Take off about 30%. I and mean, then you got a deal. And that's only that game. What's going to happen next week? 30%. Take 30% off the deal. He... he, 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 he if, doesn't surprise me one bit what this guy can do honest to god open people doesn't do it 
honestly, that guy just winds you up something rotten. But we're used to it because it's Jimmy G. Honestly, and if it ain't this, if it ain't Jimmy G's, this guy. So, this guy, yet again, comes in, does well against the Vikings. Yeah, well done last week. Brilliant. Brilliant. They played like a playoffs team. It was fantastic. That was a bloodbath of a game. That was incredible by the 49ers. What was he doing during this week? Because I'm dying to know what he was doing. I'm dying to know. What was he doing? Seriously. Because this guy, I'm telling you now, it was bizarre. Because he does it all the time. Heads or tails? Heads, you you lose, tails you win. That's what it feels like. And every time, it's, it, it seems like it's going to be on heads. The strategy was crap. He had no offensive great gameplay. Yeah, okay. Past the kittle, past the right, but whatever. But it wasn't the greatest. It was it? There was no offensive run. And then when it was, when it was great and clear, player three, oh, pick six. He needs to get Jimmy's head out of his ass and start looking properly. Like I think one comment, one uh, commentator was saying that he couldn't see over the parts of the roof. A bloke on the left, the person on the left was free and clear. There was a person way down the lot, free and clear. He's not quick enough. Shanahan's strategy ain't good enough for us. Another one that needs to go. If he doesn't make the playoffs, both of them have got to go. Makes the playoffs at least near to the conference. Yeah, sure. Maybe he could stay. Maybe he could stay. Maybe they might talk about it. I'm nowhere near, man, and I can't see it. Why this guy is here? I really, really can't. He he baffles me to bits. Worst, honestly, it was the worst to see that game. It was awful, disgusting, and you lost twice to the Seahawks. Not good at all. Not good. And yet another thing I don't understand. Jimmy G didn't have to play this game. This guy could have. Why wasn't Trey Lance on? Why wasn't Trey Lance on? I think he could have done well. He's mobile as well. He's good on his feet. Athletic. Really good. Why didn't you put him on? Yet again. You trade up the third to get a quarterback. Was it going to be Justin Fields, Matt Jones, Trey Lance? Whoever. Then you got Trey Lance. Well done. I think he's good. I think he could do really, really, really good. Didn't play last year, last season. That's fine. But you're coming in this brand new. Let's see what you can do. And yet Shanahan ain't gave him nothing. Nothing at all. Why? He could have been used in that game. We've got the Falcons coming up. He could be, he could be used in that game. Makes no sense whatsoever. And yet here is Trey Lance. Honest to God. Honestly, this team needs to sort his head out of his arse. I'm telling you. And that coach, Shanahan, needs to sort his life out now, man. Because it's not right and it ain't good. We praised we praise him last week. Don't praise him at all. This week. Could, you know, but it's always going to be the same. He hasn't got a set strategy. And he could argue, oh, well, yeah, but, you know, you've got injured players, injured team here, injured team there. It don't matter. The, set, the, pri the primary um, team should be good as the secondary team. The secondary team should be as good as the primary team. Simple as. And you've got nothing. Awful. And try and answer on. Yet again, useless. Why not? All right, enough moaning. A little bit of positivity. Out, Shashir. Unreal. Can't let that guy go. Need to keep him. Give him a four or five year deal. Don't care. He actually, he did really well. He's quick on the mark. But he ain't going for one, he's going for another. He ain't going for one, he's going for another. Yeah, you could argue Bosa did all right. 
DJ Jones did all right. All the, you know, great. This guy needs to get a good, you know, he can't go nowhere. He has to stay there. He has to stay at the 49ers. I thought, I, I, he, he did really well. He covered a lot for what he's worth. And, um, yeah, they need to keep him because I thought he was really, really, really good. And I thought this guy was really good as well. He came out of his own. Everyone's saying, oh, George Cook's a bit injured here. Does like to get injured. Does like this. Blah, 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 blah. And here he comes. Comes out of his own. And he did really, really well. Um, I'm not going to praise these guys too much. Because as a team, not good. But my God, he did really, 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 really well. Um, yet again, Jimmy G's got the ball. He looks. Oh, look. Kittle's free. Throws a long one. Straight into the touchdown. Free. Bang. Thank you. Weren't hard, was it, Jimmy? No, 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 no. Wasn't hard. Kittle was open. You gave it to Kittle. So what's the problem? I thought Kittle was really, really good. Not great, but good. Pushed it more. Like I said, you ain't got Debo Samuel. You know, it's it's it, it was one of them. Yep, they lost his team. So I'm not going to praise him too much, but he did good. Just to keep it going. The athleticism, the pushing on. And he did just that. He did really, really, really well. And another thing, before I go, because I was going to go. I need to bring this up now. I really should have brought it up at the beginning. Stop moaning about the officials. Last week, Vikings head coach. Oh, it all went to the 49ers way. Officials didn't do this. Lots of holding. Lots of this, that. Blah, 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 blah. Kittle rightly so said, listen, stop moaning. Right? And make sure your team gets better playmakings and stuff like that. Honestly, right? Now, yesterday... Guess what happened? Did the same thing to us. There was holdings, pause interference, and we got nothing. Who gives a shit? Who cares? I don't care. Even I was going, yeah, I'll hold it. Oh, yeah, this, that, and the other. But at the end of the day, you yeah, still lost as a freaking team. We lost as a freaking team. Why? Because we were crap. But yet we can all stand on the side of... Yeah, but the officials, officials did this. Even Bosa at the bleeding interview at the end with the officials. Shut up with your whining, your moaning about the refs. So what? So what? You still play crap. And next week better be better. I think it's the Bengals. I think it's the Bengals. Yep, it is the Bengals who are Seven and five. So they're doing better than us. And we're six and six. So they need to get their heads out of fat ass now. Because that's going to be a game and a half. Debo needs to be ready. Like Everyone needs to be ready. If not, if you lose that one, forget it. Literally forget the playoffs. I'm not, I'm not even going to joke. Forget it. I'll be, there for, I'll, be there for the, uh, I'll be there for that game as well. But other than that, that's it. Thank you very much for the 54 subscribers as well. Really fortunate. I hope I appreciate you guys subscribed. Um, if you're new, subscribe. I'll be doing my uh, my prediction of the Bengals game. That'll be fun on Saturday. And then I'll give you my reaction straight after the game, which I'll, I'll be off to watch on Sunday as well. And tomorrow, um, midday, I've got my Gene Advent Canada in the background there for day seven. So see what Gene's in there. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching guys, and I'll see you guys uh, on the next video.